What's up everybody? This is King's Wild Project, a little how-to play video. We're going to learn how to play solitaire today, which is a great game to play if you are alone, if you're lonely, if you're sitting in an office waiting for something to happen, this game is for you. And today we're playing with our beautiful legal Tinder deck. Uh, just look at that. Isn't that lovely? You can find this deck on our website, kingswildproject.com. I will also put a link directly to the deck right below this video. Today we're playing Solitaire, and Solitaire has three basic elements to our board. First is the table, which we will start building here in a second. And um, you have your hand, which you can place in your hand or on the table, it doesn't matter. And then finally up here at the top, we have what we call our foundation piles. Now our foundation piles really is the goal of the game. The goal is to get all of our cards into our foundation piles, starting with our aces in each suit, building up from ace all the way to king in the sequential suits that we have up here. And down here on our table, we're gonna start building that by flipping over our first card and then laying down six additional piles. So we have seven total piles. You go back to the first one that's face down, do another face up and then build on the others. Face up, build. Face up, build, face up, build, face up, and build. All right, let me clean this up real quick. All right, once again, this is our table down here. And what you can do with cards down here is you can build down from high to low alternating colors. So what I can do is I can take this black eight and put it on my red nine. I cannot take the red nine and put them on the red 10. They have to alternate colors. So suits don't really matter as long as the colors alternate as you're building down. And once again, up here in our foundation piles, we're staying in suits, but going up. So up in foundation piles, down here on our table. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my red nine over to my black 10. Allows me now, once I take a card off the pile, I can flip up the next face down card to see what it is. And that is actually really good. I can take my eight over here, my seven over here, and now I have two cards I can flip up. And that looks like the end of my line for now. So now we come to our hand. Now, some people play solitaire where you can flip one at a time. I like to play where you do three at a time. It's a lot more challenging because you get stuck a lot. In fact, doing this video, I have done it nine times already where I have lost nine times in a row. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. You lose basically if you can't make any more moves, if you can't move any of your cards around here on your table, and also if you cannot build any up here on your foundation piles. Now there has to be the aces up here. So we start with aces all the way up to king in each suit. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, with our hand, we're gonna do three cards at a time. You can only look at that top card that gets flipped. Can't do, any, oh, I can do something there. Let's take my seven. And since I moved this seven over here, I'm able to access this card below it. Doesn't really help me, but there it is all the same. Now I wanna get rid of that three because I see a little ace peeking out there, which is gonna help me with my foundation piles. So go to the next three flip. Oh, here we go. A red heart is going to go right there. My six can go on my seven because they're alternating colors, which allows me to move that black five. Uh, with that, I can move my red seven, lift that card up, and this four can go over here. Now, you notice I made a hole here. This is what we call a vacancy. Now, vacancies can only be filled with a king. I cannot take this 10 and just move it over to this vacancy pile. It has to be filled with a king. So that's gonna come in handy in a little bit whenever I finally do see a king, I can place that there and begin building down from that king. So go ahead, really can't do anything else at the moment. So I'm gonna flip my next three cards and I come to my first foundation card. I'm just gonna place it right up here in my foundation piles. And so from here, I'm gonna build my hearts up, starting from ace, two, three, four, all the way up to king. And once I fill all four foundation piles, the game is over, I win. So hopefully we'll be able to see that here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and flip our next three. So whenever you have a line of cards that you can use that bottom card, you take this whole entire stack and just move it over to the pile. So you're moving the entire pile at a time as long as that 
card is opposite color. Flip that card over. All right, I can take this two up. Another foundation card, and you'll notice once again, I have two vacancy spots that can help me here in a little bit. I'm gonna flip over my last three cards. We'll see an eight come into play. And move this three down because I saw a king peeking out, which is gonna help me. Put that king right there in my vacancy spot. And remember, only kings can go there, so don't try to put anything else there. And then once you go through your hand, once and you cannot go anymore you flip it over do not shuffle it do not mix it up just flip it over and start with your three draw again so here's what this means i talked about this before if you cannot play any cards if you cannot go anymore if you can't move any of these you can't use any of your pile because you're doing three at a time you are stuck you lost the game is over you gotta shuffle and do it again. All right, so here we are again with a fresh shuffle, a fresh table, and a fresh game. Uh, this is getting frustrating, but here we are. All right, so here we are with a fresh shuffle, a fresh table, and a fresh game. So we're gonna get started uh, already looking a lot better. We can start with that and then move my king over to my vacancy spot. I have a red tin here and a black jack here. So I'm gonna take this whole pile. Glad I saw that. Start seeing if we can move some of these cards up. Uh, I can get rid of the six, put it up here in my foundation card. Ah, six of clubs goes up here, seven of clubs goes up there. My 10. That means my jack is under there, which is gonna be rough, but I think we're gonna win. Because I can move my five, six, now again, remember, the point is to build up your foundation pile from ace up to king. So as soon as you can do it, just go ahead and start building. Seven, eight, and what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to build up so that I can move this 10. What am I missing? Ah. My 10 can now go up there, which allows me to move this 10 of diamonds, revealing my final card, which is that jack I wanted. Now, at this point, I've won the game, but here's my recommendation. Go ahead and fill the pile because it's very rewarding to uh, finish it off. Queen, and my final card is the King of Hearts, and we have one solitaire. Thanks for joining us here at King's Wild Project. Join us next time for another how-to-play video.